KAUST is an international research university located on the shores of the Red Sea in Saudi Arabia. KAUST's vision is to become a global university doing cutting-edge research, an international university where people from every corner of the world come to work together, collaborate to solve not only the problems that face Saudi Arabia, but also the problems that face the world. The material science and engineering program at KAUST is one of the largest and one of the most productive programs. The areas of research that we cover span renewable energy, electronic and magnetic materials, computational material science, and nanoscale characterization. My research is in the area of organic electronics and photovoltaics, uh, focusing heavily on solar energy. And we have a significant emphasis on understanding uh, the fundamentals of solution processing and using that knowledge to enable uh, manufacturing of better solar cells and better electronics. With the support of KAUST, we have been able to build really unique uh, capabilities that allow me to investigate the way in which solution processing occurs and get very deep insight into solar cells and into electronics uh, that was not possible in the past. The ability to, to see and to be able to measure the properties and the structure of materials as they're undergoing phase transformation has enabled us to make uh, uh, better electronic devices, to make better solar cells that could potentially revolutionize uh, electronics and energy in the coming decades. My group is focusing on oxide materials. We have a, a few uh, projects where we have really made some good contribution. One is the use of oxides in transparent and flexible electronics, like in display applications and so forth. We focus on oxide semiconductors. To make power efficient circuits, typically you need N-type and P-type transistors. Uh, well, the N-type materials are easy to make and they're, they're very commonly found. But P-type materials are, are very difficult to make with good uh, transistor speed. We have been focusing on tin monoxide and we're doing phase engineering of the material, carefully designing its microstructure. And we have been able to achieve the highest mobility of this oxide, in fact of any P-type oxide, both in thin film and nanowire form. I work mainly on single molecule detection and structural study on single molecules. The research is tentative to understand the structure of molecules that normally cannot be known through X-ray uh, diffraction, for example. And we are trying also to connect the structural information with functional information of the molecules. Our lab is mainly devoted to spectroscopy, but we can use uh, also core lab facilities that are very important for our activity. So we can complete our activity through nano core labs. With our nano devices, we are able to excite molecules with through electromagnetic uh, interaction, but also to charge interaction. So we can measure vibrational spectroscopies, but at the same time also transport measures. That means how the charges flow through the materials and through the molecules. It's a new tool that should help us to understand structural uh, aspects of uh, molecules that up to now are uh, unknown. I moved to King Abdullah University of Science and Technology to establish a lab that focuses on nanoscale materials that interact with light in novel ways. Our main achievement is the design of, uh, and creation of processes that allow us to uh, produce nanoparticles on a commercial scale, yet maintain their high, uh, high quality. We've also developed methodologies that allow material scientists for the first time to uh, investigate and understand the size and molecular weight and density distributions of nanoparticles. In particular, we developed ultracentrifugation methods to measure the distribution of densities inside nanoparticles. We spent a lot of time making the materials homogeneous and making them monodisperse. And now I think the next step in our research is to self-assemble these materials, to build nanoscale materials from the grounds up, materials that have hybrid properties that are not exhibited in, normally in nature. KAUST has a unique structure. On the one hand, we do have the academic divisions, but in addition to that, KAUST has mission-focused research centers. These are centers that focus on a specific problem. They can have up to 100 people working there, and they are similar to a national lab in the USA. One of the very strong points of the material science and engineering program is energy and sustainability. And so, 
Of course, the solar center is a perfect match. At this point, uh, the vast majority of our faculty is part of the uh, MSc program. The research of my group is actually focused on computational materials chemistry. We are using computers as a tool to understand the basic chemistry and physics of uh, advanced materials. A major uh, endeavor right now is actually to uh, understand the basic mechanisms by which organic solar cells do work. After a photon is absorbed, how that leads to charge separation and uh, conversion into electricity. We have at the solar center uh, the possibility to interact with other centers. What is important is the, the opportunity not to be restrained by your own field. We have been blessed at KAUST with some of the best research facilities in the world. Not only do we have uh, generously equipped uh, professor laboratories, PI laboratories, but also we have core facilities that are some of the best in the world. So when you add it all up, we really have, I believe, uh, one of the best infrastructure at any university in the world to, to do our research.